Hi, mathematicians. Today we're going to do some counting, and we are going to count a group of objects. So, does anyone notice what these objects are today? That's right, it's some fish, and these fish look like they're swimming. And it would be really hard to count them just like they are because they're all piled on top of each other. Fish like to swim together in groups like this called schools, schools of fish. So we are going to move our objects because that's what good mathematicians do. And as they're counting, and we're going to use a special tool today to help us count. We're going to use these 10 frames. And these 10 frames really help us organize our counting. Okay, you ready? Let's start to moving our fish to see how many we have. Can you count out loud with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten fish so far. Do you think we will have enough fish to fill our next ten frame? Well, Let's see, we're going to count to see. I'm not sure we're going to have enough. If we had enough, we would have 20. So I'm going to estimate that we have less than 20. So we're at 10. What number comes next? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we have 16 fish. I'm going to write the number 16, and I'm also going to write it in word form. Very good. Can you say that with me? 16. Very good. Now, we counted these fish up to 16. Now, so let's practice counting backwards so these fish can swim away. Are you ready? So we have 16. Now we have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Zero. Now we don't have any fish. They are ready to swim away. Now, boys and girls, I want you to find 16 objects. It can be anything. It could be 16 pennies, buttons. It could be Cheerios. It could be anything. Find 16 things to count and practice counting forward and backwards. Great job, Bob.